Hello Sopranos, my name is Jeff Rolka. I had a request for some staccato exercises. And I have to say that staccato exercises, which I frequently call tonal onset exercises, are perhaps some of the most effective and efficient ways to fine tune your vocal game. But you have to be very, very conscious of how you do them so that you're doing them correctly. I'm gonna walk you through all of the things you need to know to get them right. And, uh, and show you two of my favorite, favorite exercises for this practice. Before I do, thank you if you've chosen to subscribe, and if you haven't yet, I hope you'll consider doing so now. If you want a step-by-step -step method to work on your voice, please head over to jeffrolka.com. The AAA method is there, and it is free for your use. Additionally, YouTube has recently uh, stopped doing fan funding. And if you would like to support my channel, then you can learn how to do that over at jeffrolka.com. Now, First exercise is a short note, short breath. And I'm gonna show you here, which is an octave that's reasonable for me. We're gonna do these exercises in a comfortable area of our voices. Really comfortable. Work towards efficiency. It sounds like this. And you'll notice there's a short little breath in between each of those. And then I'll do a cadence and change keys. Listen very carefully to how you start the pitch. If it has a glottal attack or a glottal stroke, e, 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 that's not what we're looking for. That's too much muscle control around the larynx. On the other hand, if you can hear an aspirated H, he, 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 he. That too is not what we're looking for. You will be most successful if you focus primarily on maintaining your lateral expansion of your rib cage and the engagement of your core body muscles, the rectus abdominis and oblique muscles. You can try it here. One, two, ready, and. The next exercise, and I want to stress it's how you do these exercises that is vastly more important than whether or not you can simply sing the notes. The quality of your voice, the quality of the articulations, and the suspension of your engagement is really what we're practicing here. Um, most people will be able to sing those actual pitches without much challenge. The next exercise is very similar. It has a descending scale. There's no breath in between these staccato pitches. By the, same, the thing is, though, is you still have to maintain your expansion and engagement of the abdominal muscles. There are short pauses. And we're going to go on like that. Maintain your engagement, maintain your expansion in the space in between the staccato pitches. You begin here, your first pitch is there. One, two, ready, and.
there you go. I hope that helps. My name is Jeff. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing, and hopefully we'll see you again. Bye.